Darlington produces electricity using the heat that comes from splitting uranium atoms in a process called nuclear fission. The fuel is naturally occurring uranium that's processed into small pellets. The pellets are sealed into metal tubes, which are welded together to form a fuel bundle. The fuel bundles are then inserted into a large tank called a calandria, which is the heart of the nuclear reactor. In can-do reactors, a special kind of water called heavy water flows around the fuel bundles. Heavy water is found in all water, rivers, lakes, and oceans. On average, one out of every 7,000 drops of water is heavy water. It's 10% heavier than ordinary water because it incorporates a heavy form of hydrogen called deuterium. The heavy water slows down tiny particles called neutrons, so they are more likely to hit and split the uranium atoms. A chain reaction of splitting atoms releases tremendous heat into the heavy water. The heated heavy water flows through a closed loop system that's pumped through the reactor to a set of steam generators where it transfers the heat to ordinary water. When that water boils, it turns into steam. The steam is transported at high pressure through pipes to a large turbine where it pushes the blades and turns a shaft connected to a rotor in the generator, causing the rotor to spin. The spinning rotor is a large electromagnet that produces rotating magnetic fields. These fields move across coils of copper wire in the generator, producing electricity. The electricity is fed into transmission lines that...